In connection with our work with the veterans, we thought it would be uh, nice to get some of the uh, usual kind of imagery that is now done on brain function uh, in order to document the progress that we're making with, uh, with neurofeedback. Uh, so uh, in, in this connection, we're working with Dr. Daniel Amen, who is uh, known around the world for this kind of work. He's looked at SPECT scans for a variety of clinical conditions, including um, for PTSD. And so when one of our veterans was willing to do that, we sent him down there for some SPECT imagery down to Newport Beach. And after the neurofeedback, uh, another set. And we were just really struck by the difference uh, that we could see in the data. Now, we were already excited about the progress that he had been making in the neurofeedback, but it's ever so much uh, better to see it in, uh, uh, in real color, in living color. This shows the SPECT uh, imagery. SPECT stands for Single Photon Emission Computerized Tomography. And it shows us uh, elevations in activity level up here at the anterior cingulate uh, cortex, uh, at the basal ganglia, and at the thalamus, and a whole lot of activity back here at the, uh, at the cerebellum. And uh, this uh, pattern, this diamond pattern, is the characteristic pattern that we, uh, or Dr. Amen, uh, expects to see typically in the case of uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And this was before the neurofeedback, and here we're seeing uh, the same brain after a number of uh, neurofeedback sessions. So in particular, the uh, anterior cingulate cortex has calmed down significantly, the basal ganglia have calmed down, the thalamus is still lively, but look at the uh, look at the cerebellum. It is just majorly decreased in activity level. And uh, we read that as being uh, all to the good. This is a calmer uh, brain that is more uh, able to control and regulate its own activity. And that's very much the experience uh, that this person has in his, in his life. He's just more in charge of his life. And so uh, the experience of neurofeedback for him has been nothing less than transformational.